everyone, welcome to my bathroom and my skincare cupboard. I once saw Anna, the Anna edit, with a cupboard like this. I think she probably still has one, does she? I don't know, in her flat. I remember seeing her with all this amazing skincare on the shelves and I dreamt one day of having my own skincare cupboard. But I am no skincare expert. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm reading Caroline Hiron's skincare book and I've watched some skincare videos and that's the extent of my skincare knowledge. However, I do have some really good things in this cupboard and it's in need of a tidy up because it's a bit of a mess. It doesn't look like, you know, it's too bad, but there's stuff in there that I'm not using. And about two or three months ago, I bought one of these from b and M. It's a label maker. Now I do have a brother label maker, which you type in what we want to say and then it prints it out. Whereas this one is one that looks very like Pinterest, like very aesthetic. Cause it's got like, you type it out letter by letter. Um, you twist the top and then you'll see it makes it that really nice sort of label. And although the glass is not very thick here, I thought we could maybe label up the sections so that I can sort of grab things better. So I thought I would basically organize this all on camera with you today and talk to you about some of my favorite skincare items from a girl who doesn't know much about skincare, but these are the things that I like. So here we are. If you're not subscribed already, please click subscribe and like this video. That really helps me so that more people come and join us here on my channel. Um, and if you're new, then hello, welcome. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you'll enjoy this. Um, don't know what I'm doing. So where should we start? I think maybe we should take it all out, put it down around the sink and then put it back in and do the labels as we go and we'll do each section. So I'm not looking forward to this, but okay, I'm gonna move my toothbrush. We've got this um, Joseph Joseph, nice little toothbrush caddy. My hand soap of choice right now is Winter Candy Apple from Bath and Body Works that my lovely friend Catherine sent me and it smells amazing. And it's got like exfoliating pearls that buff away dead dry skin and oh, your hands feel so lovely. So love that. Okay, right. Cue the montage of me decluttering this. to keep this shelf as my contact lenses that I keep in here. I wear the same prescription in both eyes so I used to have different and I'd have the top shelf for the left and the bottom shelf for the right but now it's just the same. So I just fill this up as and when I need to and these are my favourite contact lenses. I have these daily disposable ones and what I do is normally just break them up into twos because obviously you need two, but they come as a, as a strip of five, which is so annoying. So I put the ones in the top, which just sounds so ridiculous. But this little thing was from Primark, I think. Right, so that is fine. I like the fact that it fits on that shelf properly. This is a little pot of hair bands. Obviously when I'm doing my skincare, I want my hair out my face, or just before I'm about to have a shower, if I take a hair band out, I like to give it a home. You know, so I've got pots of hair bands there. We've got cotton buds and then my glasses. I have two pairs of glasses, but we'll keep a pair there. So the shelves are set up. I can move them if I want to, but they're set up. So we've got a small one here, a medium size, and then obviously big. So the biggest item, the tallest thing I have is E45 cream, which anyone with eczema or any rashes or any sort of dry sensitive skin has E45 in their cupboard because this is something I grab or um, try and use if my skin is like playing up. So I always have that, even though I don't get a lot of use out of it. Um, I haven't had this bottle for very long, but you should check expiry dates if you can on things. So yeah, so let's pop that at the very top, um, body lotions. I think I want body lotions and SPF. I have a face SPF, but then I have I have so much skincare in the cupboard behind me as well. I've got like an overflow of it, mostly because I do actually very kindly get given some stuff like scent products to try. Um, and obviously it's always changing. But yeah, I've got some after sun, which obviously I don't need right now. I've got this 
spray, which is very nice. The Garnier, is it Garnier? A Sensitive Advanced SPF 50. I love that. That's a face sort of mist. But the one SPF I've been liking every day is the Body Shop Skin Defense. Now, I, I use that sort of in rotation with my everyday stuff, but I am going to put it up there with SPF so that everything is together. So let's get the label maker ready. Oh, it's not sticking on glass. How annoying is that? Put stickers here instead. Body lotion. Okay, so let's do body lotion then. So my favorite body lotion is by, uh, what's this, And Other Stories. And they have the most amazing smelling products. So I've got Bellevue Bakery and Punk Bouquet. And these are just absolutely divine. I love them, I have had them a little while, but I'm keeping them. <laughs> Love, love, love. If I get out of the shower and I've just shaved my legs, that is what I put on. Amazing. Now, another skincare cup cupboard essential if you have eczema is Child's Farm Sensitive Moisturiser. Benji's mum actually bought this for me. When I do have an eczema flare up, some things work better than others at different times. Like my number one go-to normally is Dream Cream, which should be, where is it? Not even here right now, by Lush. Oh, it is, is it? Yeah, Dream Cream. This is another eczema essential. Well, actually, eczema maybe should be in the middle. And we need another label. And this is body lotions here. Up the top. Oh, gonna reach up there. Okay, SPF eczema body lotions. This is really tall product. This is by This Works. I bought this a long time ago. Um, evening detox cleansing water. I don't love it, I don't use it. So that can go out. Um, we'll probably wanna do cleansers next. Oh, this is another body lotion, or it's a hand cream actually. Sweet Fig Bay by Harbour Spa. So I'll put that up there with the body lotions because you can use that on your body. And then what have we got here? These I used to have up there as well. So these are um, pads that you put on your eyes. You've got the uh, Pixie Detox Eye things. These are absolutely amazing. I love these. They're these lovely gel under eye just amazing like if you know anyone that loves pixie products like buy them these these are again this works now i don't really use these very much but i would like to so i'm actually going to keep them keep them together they're for my under eyes so maybe they'll go together with like eye creams that makes the most sense so we'll put them in that section there cleansers i'm gonna have this side. Oh no, is it gonna be too long? Oh no, it just about fits. It literally just fits. Okay, cleanser. Right, so my favorite cleanser ever is Lizelle Cleanser Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. Anything that I cull from my collection, I'm gonna put in a box and then when I can see people again, friends, family, whatever, they go through my box of PR products and skincare and beauty and whatever, um, and they all go to good homes, so. Yes, and I have friends that have sisters or housemates and whatever, so everything goes somewhere. But I'm gonna get rid of this, the Pixie um, Hydrating Milky Lotion. It smells lovely, I just have others, so we're moving on. This range from Superdrug is absolutely gorgeous. I actually have this as well. They very kindly sent me these, and I really like them. They're really affordable. I've used this quite a lot recently, actually. Um, but this is lovely, so yes, if I run out of this, I've got that as a backup. Um, and the hydrating mist is really nice too. In fact, let's put that here together like that. That looks nice. Okay, my deodorant, my favorite deodorant is the Mitchum Invisible No White Marks. This is my absolute favorite. I always, if I'm running low, I'll always get another one. So I always have two. This is another um, super drug one from a different range, the Naturally Radiant Brightening Hot Cloth Cleanser. This is also very nice. Um, so I don't wanna get rid of that. I have so many cleansers, um, but you know, cleanser you use every day, so do get through them. Um, we've got the Pixie Hydrating Milky Cleanser. I liked this, I didn't love it, not as much as these, so that's going to go as well. Next we have, so I've got like cream cleansers, obviously that's a hydrating mist. And then we've got micellar cleansers, and this is Function of Beauty. Now, I worked with them last year, and I really love their hair care. Big fan. I bought it with my own money as well. And they recently sent me their skincare to try. So they've branched out into skincare. I did like a skincare quiz. 
This is nice, but I'm gonna try and show you. It doesn't distribute very much. Like for a cleanser, you need quite a few pumps. That's my only gripe with it. But other than that, it's quite nice. We've got Pixie Hydrating Milky Makeup Remover. Um, again, this whole range was obviously very kindly sent to me and I've tried it. You can see, like I gave it a go. Actually, I did quite like that at one point. I'm not gonna keep it, I don't gravitate towards it. Uh, then we've got Glossier Solution. So solution, I wanna put with the toners. So maybe we'll have toners, cleanse and tone. This is a glyconic something or other. I don't know, the packaging has like um, rubbed away, unfortunately, but this is again from the Naturally Radiant Superdrug range. I need to read in Caroline Hiron's book when I need this. I'm not gonna get rid of that because I feel like I might want that eventually. So I'm gonna put that with the solution and toners there. We've got another cleansing gel from a very expensive brand called Oscia London. I think this was in a gift bag. So I'm gonna pop that there because I quite like that. We've got simple micellar gel water. I did really like this for a long time. Don't know if you can see, I've like half used it. Like it. Ready to move on. Oh, Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I mean, no brainer. So we'll put that in there. Like Glossier. I need a um, toner label, don't I? This is La Roche-Posay Ultra Fine Scrub for Sensitive Skin. I really love this. Really, really like this. I've had this for a while now. Don't use it very often, but those times where I do feel like I wanna give my skin a little scrub, that's what I use. So I feel like, I'm gonna put that there, even though it's not cleansers. It's sort of the same time I'd use it. Next, we have this typology. I've got loads of products I'm gonna show you from them in my drawer under the sink. And I really like this. As you can see, I'm halfway through. So these things I don't think are gonna fit on there, so I'm gonna to have to keep them up here. This was in like a hotel or something that we went to, and I didn't wanna get rid of it because like the white company. Um, it's called Flowers Body Lotion. The reality is I'm just not using it. I just wanted to keep it because it's expensive and smells nice. But if I'm gonna grab a body lotion, it's gonna be one of my and other stories ones. Or do I wanna keep it like if I'm going on travels? I do have travel size skincare, by the way, in um, the spare room. I don't know, I kind of feel like I want, do I want it? No, we'll move on, we'll move on. Sudocrem is another sort of emergency rash eczema scenario so i'm going to put that up there oh hemp cream from the body shop again somebody recommended this to me for my eczema and you know what it is actually quite good right here's my toner section like so now i don't need a lot of toners let's be real but my favorite at the moment is aroma toner water by lush if i was going to if i was going to use a toner it would be this one so, so nice. That's my favorite toner, plus Glossier, plus that super drug one. Do I realistically need any more toners after this? Like, oh, we've got Glossier Super Bounce. This is more of a serum. I feel like we'll have serums in a separate section. And under eye, that's under eye. Um, oh, the Beauty Elixir. What step in makeup do you use this? I feel like I don't wanna get rid of it. Oh, I have another cleanser. Lush, let the good times roll. This is more of a like scrubby one like that, but we will keep it here with the cleanser section. Tried this deodorant, didn't love it. Thought I'd love it, didn't, don't recommend. Right now we've got a lot of, what's this, serum. This is a function of beauty, again, their range. They've got me a moisturizer as well. So this is lovely, it actually says function of Brogan on the lid. I absolutely love this, really nice, not a sponsor. I do really like it. So we're gonna have serums, moisturizers, serum, moisturizer, and then like under eye. Should there be anything else? Oh, we've got a body mist here, which we'll just put, that's again the, um, and other stories. I'll put that with the body creams. Uh, another Glossier product, Future Dew. Love this. If you want your face to look nice and glowy, this is lovely. So that's again, a serum. We've got lots of serums going on down here. I really love Tropic Skincare, but I've not been gravitating towards using this, um, a fruit peel. So I'm just gonna say goodbye to that one. Lizelle, we know I love Lizelle, but I just don't love the under eye cream. Don't love this, that's going. 
Oh, Arc Skincare is amazing. I've got quite a few bits from them. And this is a an anti-redness serum. So we'll keep that because my face gets so red. Garnier, I have loads of this in the cupboard. Anti-age eye care. Quite like this. I've got the full range, every single product. They sent me all of them. And they're in my cupboard and I'm trying to get through them. But um, yeah, it's a nice, nice eye cream. This one I got in my FabFitFun box. It's by a brand called... Tula and it's a stick and I love it. We've got Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. Love this, let's put that up there. Right, another Glossier product. Can you tell I love their skincare? This is Bubble Wrap, which to be honest, I love this a lot more than Garnier. So let's cull that and keep that one. Okay, next we're moving on to our moisturizers. So my favorite ones haven't changed for a while. Clinique Moisture Surge, which I've only got one of these sort of travel ones at the moment, but I love that. So we've got moisturiser there, we've got the um, uh, uh, Function of Beauty one. Olay Whip, love this. This is my, my second or third bottle of that. So I'll put that on top of there. And then my Night Cream, which is the It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Beauty Skin. This is super nice. So I'll have that there. They're my moisturisers. Oh, I've got two more moisturisers I quite like. Ren and Murad. These two are very nice too. This is my Maybelline Tattoo Brow. This is how I tint my eyebrows. I have an IGTV up of how I use this. So you can go check that out on my Instagram. So I'm going to put that with eyes because it's sort of eyebrows, eye area. Then we've got this, which I use if I have any really bad spots. Clean and Clear Advanced Spot Treatment Gel. I really, really like this. So it's a bit miscellaneous because it's spot treatment. So I'm gonna put it with, and it also doesn't stand up. It's super annoying. Uh, a company called O'Keefe sent me an overnight lip balm, but I think I'm gonna put that next to my bedside table. It makes more sense. Cookie dough by Lush, which is a lip scrub. Ilua sent me this um, lash tint and I haven't tried it yet. I don't want to get rid of it. Um, but it's taking up sort of space in here. I don't need or want it. So I'm going to put that in the drawer. So now I'm working on this drawer under here. And I have some cotton pads. And then my, I've got reusable ones as well. These are clean. I found another micellar water. And a load of other skincare in here. I've got my contact lenses. Oh, Bonnie's got one of her toys. I've got a teeth whitening thing. And then I've got all these cloths, which... Ideally, I want them in this grey basket. This is much better. Okay, we're going to put my floss sticks in there with that teeth whitening thing. Uh, I've got this miscellaneous soap thing. I'm going to put that down there. Skincare brush and a jade thing. Um, what else? Facial hair removing tools. Eye drops can go with contact lenses. I almost forgot to show you the drawer that I finished off. So I have cotton pads, reusable ones, and my flannels, and then my contact lenses and teeth stuff. That's the stuff I use to wax my tash. <laughs> and then what else? Eyebrow kit and some other miscellaneous bits. So that is what the drawer looks like. So this is everything I am choosing not to keep. Um, even though I've enjoyed some of it, I'm just going to pass it on to friends and family. And then this is how my cupboard is now looking. So a lot more organized. We've got my SPF, my body lotions, my eczema stuff, deodorant, toners, cleansers, serums, moisturizers, and eye products, and then other things I need in my skincare cupboard. I absolutely love this. Ta-da! So that is my skincare cupboard. I hope you enjoyed that chit chat with me. Let me know your favorite skincare products. If there's anything you recommend for me, I have very dry, eczema prone, sensitive skin. I'm not necessarily brand loyal, but I do have a lot of Glossier by the looks of it. And obviously I like Lizelle, Arc Skincare. Uh, we've got Ren, It Cosmetics, Olay, Function of Beauty loads and loads of different brands and different products going on in there and obviously i only have one face i do not need all these serums um but lots of them do lots of different things and i'm learning all of that as i go i am no skincare expert as we know but yeah i hope you enjoyed seeing that anyway i enjoyed 
organizing it with you. So have a good rest of the day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.